Hey, what's going on there, guys? I just wanted to give my perspective about the final two left in the game. Kayla, Matthew, let's do this thing. And I guess I'll start with Matthew and just highlight some of the things I think he has done well, which is... That's it. Like, he, I, like I'm not trying to be mean, but he's done nothing in this game. And I don't even hear the jury talking about him doing anything in the game either. I guess he was up front with people, which I guess some people are going to take down to accountability. But in my opinion, he hasn't done anything in this game. He has always been in a safe spot. And to be honest with you, I kind of theorized he was in a big alliance in Team Adam. And he was the yes man, in my opinion. Like, he would just do what was asked of him. He never gave his opinion about stuff, I feel like. Like I said, he was up front, but... He didn't pull any moves. He didn't win any challenges. He got a disadvantage. He just hasn't done anything in the game. And I really think it's going to take a lot of convincing and persuading of him to get me to vote for him. Because I'll be honest, my vote is 99.9999999% likely going to go to Kayla. But I'll be open-minded heading into the jury just in case if he does have anything that I don't know about, and he completely blindsides me. But I guess I'll talk about Kayla now. She's kind of, and like, in all honesty, like, between the final two, none of them have really made any big moves. I mean, and that's something as a jury member I look at, is big moves that change the game outlook for you and put you in a better spot. Well, both of them have been in basically the same spot, a great spot since Rendezvous. And it's really hard for me to to highlight, like I said, the things Kayla has done. Because she's basically just played a social game and won challenges. Which is great. That's nice to do too. But as a jury member, I love the outwit portion of it. The strategic portion. The big move portion. But unfortunately, I guess that hasn't really been a thing with either one. Unless if I don't know about something. But... I guess I'll just talk about Kayla's game and highlight some of the things she has done well. I think she has done a great job at keeping her target level extremely low. I was targeting her since Rendezvous, and I knew she was going to be a force to be reckoned with really quick. And like I said, in the power rankings, I put her up really high because I knew she was in a great spot. And I wanted to get her out, but I wasn't able to do it. And even later on in the game, during Final Four, when she was very vulnerable... They still kept her. So I just think she's done a great job at keeping her target level down. Another thing that I'm very impressed with was the fact that she had so many final threes and did not get caught. And I understand that we can't talk to each other 24 hours a day and stuff like that. Like they can on the real island. But the fact that she got away with having a final three with everybody from Team Adam, I'm pretty impressed with. And, like I said, I understand it's a short time, but I still feel like we should be comparing notes. And she completely got away with that. Because she had a final three with me, Sophia. She had a final three with Hager and Holly. And she had a final three with Meredith and Matthew. So, I think that is really impressive, just being able to do that. And I think the next biggest highlight for Kayla is that she was a challenge beast. She beat me in two challenges, three challenges really, which I'm pretty salty about, but yes, that's kind of my perspective, like I said, going into Final Ascent. Like I said before, as a jury member, the things I look at is the big moves that change your perspective in the game, and for both of them, they were both in a really good spot, so it didn't really necessarily make sense for, well, at least it didn't make sense for Kayla to make a big move. For Matthew, it did make sense because he was on the bottom. He's already being seen, in my opinion, as a GOAT. So he needed to make a big move. But that's kind of what I look at is the big moves as a jury member. But since none of them did it, I was very impressed with Kayla's social game, her alliances, and her overall challenge win. So right now, I am Team Kayla... And yes, that's what I'm thinking. Kayla right now is my vote. But like I said, I will go in with an open mind just in case these people have something to blow my mind with. So those are my thoughts heading into the final ascent. I am at 4 minutes, 45 seconds, 46 counting. I'm just going to end it here. I'll see you guys. It was a fun season. Congrats on making it to both both of you guys and best of luck. I'll see you guys. 
Hello mods, um, I am here to give my final speech for the jury um, and do my little processing. Um, I Right now it's very clear to me who is the winner of this game. Um, I don't have much to think about. Um, I am going to go into Final Ascent with an open mind. Um, because I never, I don't believe that it should be something where I don't even hear both of them out. Um, so I will go in with an open mind and maybe the other person can sway me, but at this moment I already have my vote. Um, and yeah, that's where I stand. Um, so, I mean, let's talk about them. So the first person... Um, that is in the final two. I will talk about first because they won the final challenge. Um, so Kayla, um, I think that Kayla, um, she played a really good game. Um, I think that she kept it timid, um, and kept it going along with the flow of things, uh, as far as she could, um, but from what I saw, she was the first one, well, with a with a little combination of her and um, Sophia, maybe, um, like, made this little joust at making a move. Um, but I don't think that, I still don't think that she made any monumental moves. I think that the major reason why she's in the final ascent is because she won a bunch of challenges, which is literally what I said. Um, I said the night that I got voted out that these people were going to have a resume of I won challenges. Um, and it's gonna make it really hard for you to just be a clear cut winner. Um, but I, I will say that Kayla, um, is somebody that from the beginning of the game made a good connection with me um and she you know we 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 hit it off on the first day before we got divided um and then coming together for the fake rendezvous we made a promise that we would never vote for each other and she stuck to that promise because the night she voted at me out she threw her vote on schneidman um, so I, I will honor that because it was, it was lo like honesty and, um, breaking a promise is something that I don't forgive very easily and she didn't break that promise. So, um, yeah, uh, but I think that from what I saw her, her social game was pretty good. Um, and yeah, um, so I think that she played... A, a decent game. I'm not gonna say that it was well-rounded or amazing because I don't think it was um, But I think that she she played a good game um, Matthew Matthew Did nothing. <laughs> he really didn't. Um, he had many opportunities to to do something to make a move um, To shake things up and he never chose to do any of them um I think that Kayla only picked him because she thinks that she can beat him. Um, I'm not going to say whether or not I think that's true, but I think that he he got pretty much carried here. Um, he, unless I'm forgetting something, he didn't win anything. He didn't win any challenges except for the tribe challenges. Um, and I mean, he was, yeah, I just, I don't think that he, I don't think that he did anything. I don't think that he played a good game, um, and it's hard for me to like process and talk about him because I have nothing to talk about. Um, he never made an effort to reach out to Wendell people, even if it's just to make them feel comfortable. Like you just don't have to be cold. Like you can at least talk to people. Um, all of the other team out of people did that except for Matthew. So. Um, yeah, so like I said, I have a pretty clear idea of what I'm doing, um, but I will see how Final Ascent goes and see if something changes my mind. But once again, thank you so, so much for allowing me to be a part of this wonderful season. All right.
This is my Jury Speaks video. I feel like, I feel like for everybody on the jury, the number one quality that they look for in a winner is for it to be themselves. Uh, and barring that, <laughs> barring that the winner cannot be themselves, it's who is the person who I can vote for that most lets me sleep at night. Um, I feel like whoever makes it to the end gets there by owning everybody on the jury. We, we've all been owned by Matthew and Kayla. So how do we decide, like, I respect the way you owned me. I do not respect the way you owned me. Let's talk about their games. Matthew, I think his number one skill was keeping himself at the center of power. Um, nothing happened without him. He was always informed. He always had his arms around what was going on in the game. Uh, he was really good at presenting himself to his teammates as non-threatening. The problem there is he never subsequently made himself a threat. And what I mean by that is he, he was in the center of power, but was not the one driving the decisions, at least it never seemed like it, and then never was willing to turn around and get the people out who were making the decisions when he had the chance. When we got closer to the end of the game, he had some opportunities to take some shots without diminishing his own standing. It would have been a little bit of a risk, but it was something that had to be done in order for him to be able to win. It, it feels like he never took that extra step. Kayla was the decision maker the whole time while making connections with everybody, while winning challenges, and... She was there the whole time, pulling all the strings, and nobody was really looking at her until the very, very end of the game. And by then it was too late, because the people she got there with, she, she was able to marshal the people who she had been in an alliance with against other people, against the Hagers of the world, against the Mies of the world, that, well, we, we gotta deal with this problem first before we deal with our own shit. That's the magic of Kayla's game. I think what I need to hear tonight is Kayla own that. Describe how she did it. Tell the story of her game in a coherent way that reflects my experience of her game. For Matthew to earn my vote, he would have to convince me that my personal narrative, that my experience of the game was incorrect and actually he wasn't the one in charge the whole time. Because that's, I don't see that right now. I just don't see it. Um, it's possible. It's possible. But th it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. And that's what he would have to do. Um, but I, I, what I do feel strongly, despite my own personal bitterness about my, how my own game turned out, is that these are two finalists who represent what happened in the game very well. You know, the... Team Adam holding strong, but not too strong. Um, you know, the, the kumbaya-ish nature of what can happen when you're all rowing in the same direction while still looking out for yourself. Uh, that, that feels like a nice dichotomy to me. But man, Matthew has an uphill climb ahead of him in this final ascent because it just, it feels like Kayla was the driver was the pilot the whole effing time and systematically got rid of everybody else who seemed like a pilot. Uh, that's masterful. That's masterful gameplay. And Matthew's going to have to supplant that in order to earn my vote. Okay, so it's final ascent tonight, and Kayla and Matthew have betrayed me and left me in third place, losing out to David Jackson from last year by one spot. One spot. I feel betrayed, and I am going to fuck them up at final ascent now. I, I'm not better, I promise. Uh, I am looking forward to tonight, though, to see how everything goes and how they portray their cases. Uh, I think it'll be interesting. Uh, I know that Kayla has had wheels spinning the whole time, and we haven't really gotten to see a lot of her thought process. It'll be interesting to see that. 
Uh, Matthew, he hasn't really played much of a strategic game, at least as far as I could tell. So I'm looking forward to seeing if maybe he's made some moves I'm just not aware of. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes, especially because I think they might be getting some sassy questions from some of my fellow jury members. Uh, some people are a little bit bitter about things that happened in the game, but I mean, just want everyone to remember, this is a game. We're doing this for fun and for charity and you're meant to deceive and to lie to people when necessary. And I hope everybody just remembers that and we get who I feel is the, the correct winner out of this, and that's Kayla. And I, I honestly, I think Matthew would probably agree with me that, that she would be a great winner. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But it's been great playing. It's been great playing with both Matthew and Kayla since pretty much the beginning. Um, wish I could have made it <laughs> one more spot. So I feel like if it had been me and Matthew in the final, I could have won. I feel like if it was me and Kayla, it would have been hands down her anyway. But uh, I thought that's what this vote was gonna be. And it looks like it's a little more mixed up than I would have expected. Uh, we'll see how it all plays out though. There could be people who change their mind after they hear some things at, at final ascent. And who knows, maybe Matthew was scheming like a little duck all along. I don't know why. It's my duck scheme, I don't know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> looking forward to, to seeing it. We have a surprise survivor guest, so it'll be exciting to see who that is. Uh, hopefully Adam, maybe, since we got uh, two Team Adams in the final. But, um, but yeah, that's all, thanks. We're going in to our vote with the choice to vote between Kayla and Matthew. And it's kind of a weird vote for me because I basically never spoke to either one of them at all. Um, I spoke to Matthew before the game started on that day zero. And so I got to know about him. Um, but then I had two different days where I got to talk to Team Adam people. Um, the day of the fake rendezvous type thing. Uh, and then the day of the actual rendezvous before they voted me out. And on both occasions, I made efforts to speak to both Kayla and Matthew. And neither one of them had any interest in speaking with me. Um, it was made very clear to me that there was a hierarchy in Team Adam and that the two of them were pretty safely at the top, but not the very top of that hierarchy. Um, the other person that was in there was Meredith. Um, and then I would say at the very top was Hager. Um, so I figured the four of them were gonna make it to almost the end. Hager being or feeling like he was at the top probably told me that they were gonna blindside him before the end. Um, and I thought that the plan and the strategy and the alliances were pretty obvious um, from the fake rendezvous forward. So when I had a chance to speak to people, I tried to convince them that if they didn't make some moves against uh, Meredith, Kayla, and Matthew, um, they were likely going to be picked off one by one once the easy targets uh, like JJ and I were gone. And that's basically exactly what happened. So, um, I mean, kudos to both Kayla and Matthew for making it to the end. Um, they must have done really well uh, strategizing and making alliances at the beginning of the game when it was still just Team Adam um, to be able to just kind of play as easily as they did. Um, and I mean, Kayla did a great job uh, winning a ton of challenges. Matthew won one where it counted. Um, and then he kind of stayed true to his alliance, which is what got him to the end. I think Kayla probably made a mistake um, in choosing him over Meredith to take with her because I think Matthew is probably a little bit more liked. I think he's played such a straight up game without really having to deceive anyone that um, People are gonna like him more than uh, if if Kayla had someone else sitting next to her. But I mean, ultimately, Kayla won so many challenges 
that I think that this is going to be probably a pretty easy victory for her. Um, but we will see how they answer the questions. Going into um, the final ascent, I know for certainty that either Kayla is going to have to completely um, destroy herself in the final ascent um, in her speeches and in her question answers, um, or Matthew is going to have to reveal something miraculous in order for my vote to change from um, Kayla to Matthew. Uh, I, I think that both of them um, can argue that they played similar games. I mean, their voting records are obviously very similar, um, but I think that Kayla was able to create stronger bonds with people. Um, that lasted, I mean, with myself personally, lasted through um, voting them out of the game. So I don't think Matthew can say the same thing. I think he had a very strong connection to Kayla and a very strong connection to Meredith. But beyond that, I think the best we can say about him is that he's, he's obviously very nice, very sweet. Um, but I, I don't think he had that same um, social game that Kayla had, frankly. Um, I, I know that it's obvious we can look to the challenges for how Kayla excelled and Matthew was perhaps a little lackluster. Um, he didn't come away with any exemption wins while Kayla came away with three or four, I think, if I'm remembering right. Um, for me personally, that's not the biggest indicator of a winning game. Although it certainly doesn't hurt and is, is a very stark contrast between the two of them. Um, I also feel like Kayla, and this is perhaps just a perception, but you know, in games like this, perception can be reality that Kayla was the one driving the car and Matthew was somebody sitting in the back seat. Um, he didn't want to get blood on his hands so much that I think he, even if he was directing some of these votes, it really didn't come across that way. And um, I am I'm convinced that he was not the mastermind behind these decisions. And it was much more heavy lifting from Kayla's part, um, which makes me want to vote for her more to win because I think she invested more in the game. Um, I'm worried that my fellow jury members might not all be as forgiving as I am. Um, I think we are perhaps coming into Final Ascent with uh, at least some bitter jury members. Um, I know that will make for a dramatic conversation and perhaps, um, you know, interesting uh, insight into why Kayla and Matthew made the decisions that they made. Um, but I think that voting based on you not winning the game is not really seeing the game for what it is, which is bigger than any individual player. Um, even if we think that we should have won, we are not going to win and no way that we vote is going to change that. Um, you have to come to terms with your own, not quite your own mortality, but your own faults and your own um, failures. And if you can't do that, you're going to end up voting bitterly. Um, so I think it will be interesting to see. Uh, it seems interesting to see how the votes end up playing out. I think that the answers given in Final Ascent um, will definitely change some of the votes that will be given. Um, but I am just happy to have played and have made it as far as I did so that my um, you know, my vote still means something going into Final Ascent.